What's up, y'all? So today is going to be a crazy talk installment. It's been a while since I've done one, so I thought I would do one. So, my hair, my hair. So let's jump right on in, shall we? So first things first, let me talk a little bit about Anlo and the Anunnaki. Now, really in particular, I'm talking about three Anunnaki, um, Anana, Anaki, Anleg. And all three of these deities really are set apart from one another in one aspect. And that aspect is literally what they represent. And what Anana represents is she's the conqueror. She conquers. She's the warlike one. What Ananki represents is he's the manipulator. He manipulates. He lies. Um, this is why the Greeks and Romans got so many of their uh, mythological uh, stories incorrect. With that being said, that leads me to Anle, the lover of the group. <laughs> What's up, everybody? <laughs> um, but still. But yeah. So, honestly, the three of us were the controllers of so many destinies and I mean Anlil uh, control had the tablet of destinies so he pretty much could discern and understand or understand everything that was surrounding or perpetrating or propagating in this program that we have uh, before our very eyes so yeah so you have Ananki the sun you have Anlil, the incarnate of mother. And then you have Anana, the incarnate of father, or Anu, and Antu. Antu is mother, Anu is father. And then you could actually go with An Anshar and Kishar and all this other stuff. But really, like a lot of these mythological deities and, and creatures are representation of others. Our historians kind of just took one person's story and gave it to like multiple other people so you go with it i guess now that leads me to a specific mythological story that was given to the world by the greeks and the romans when it pertains to uh zeus and cronus so most people most people think that uh, Anlil is a representation of zeus that's far from the truth Zeus technically would be the represent, representation of Shamash. Shamash and Zeus are technically one and the same. With that being said, so Cronus would actually be Anlil. Now the reason why the story goes with Cronus eating his children is because of the manipulator, of course, spreading his stories about Cronus. I mean, most of the deities, the actual folks who push the narrative forward, they either left or they stayed and started new lives. Me, I kind of died, so I started a reincarnation cycle. And then Anaki, he kind of just stayed and lingered, which he's still there. And I've seen him multiple times, and of which most people know who he is. They just don't know who he is, and uh, that's cool. I guess, I guess until he decides that he wants to show himself fully, we'll just continue to go forward. So, that leads me to narrations and narratives. So, pushing the narration forward or the storyline forward is a very interesting thing when you get to that point. And realizing that your words can lead to a great amount of devastation. So, um, with that being said, I know certain folks have asked me, like, why don't you go live? You can get more views. You can get more people. You, you need the followers. Just do it. And I'm just like, that's the 3D realm. Do you know where this is going? Oh, wait. Some people don't actually know where this is going, so they don't understand that I do not care about any of that any longer. All that stuff is dead to me because 
of where this realm is going. So I'm really not, I don't care. Now, as for the live thing, I'm waiting for a specific event to take place in order for me to go live because I actually have to give a message once that event happens. So I'm just waiting. I can wait. Jeez, you folks, what's wrong with you? <laughs> so impatient. And so, yeah, you just go with it, I guess. Now, ultimately, I don't say a lot of stuff. Like, I water down a lot because I'm just going to go ahead and use the expletive. Shit happens. So, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to push the narrative forward until it's my time to push the narrative forward. So, I'm going to go with it. When I tell you lie to on a scale that is literally unprecedented at this moment, y'all have been lied to. You have been conned. And you may not perceive it that way, but honestly, you can't realize or understand what's happening because so much of what we intake into our body have chemicals that are geared and really specifically catered to affecting our short-term memories. So <laughs> we don't really recall most of the stuff that goes on in our lives that happen on a day-to-day -day basis. We just would never recall it unless we write it down. So, so you just have to realize a lot of things when it comes to the people that you've led in your lives since birth. The governments you've led in your lives, the, the education you've led in your lives, the mathematics you've led in your lives, everything is literally a lie or a falsity. So now we have to play clean up. And I guess that's what we'll do. Play clean up. That's the chosen. Ah, that brings me to the chosen. Now, I neglected to say certain things that have biblically been uh, the facts about the chosen. It really is written at this point. A lot of the time when I actually speak, it's going to be generic information because really there's so many tools out there that you can use to do research on your own to actually understand it. And that you don't need someone to tell you. If you need someone to tell you, we don't have that time anymore. We no longer have that luxury. I wish we did. I really do. But ultimately, time is running short. It's dwindling at this point. So, I don't know. I, mm. I guess. Well, hopefully a lot of the uh, folks speaking right now help wake you up coax you out of that nonsensical thought pattern that we've been given for so long. So, I guess. Hopefully you do wake up soon. But, that leaves me to where are we going? What's happening? There's a planet uh, close to the center of the galaxy. It's actually half of a planet. It's been sending a signal uh, to multiple locations, and that's that was done purposely to initiate the sequence of events that are leading us to where we're headed. And unbeknownst to most people on this planet at this moment, a lot of other planets are going through the exact same thing that you're going through. It's a cleansing across the board, and it's done purposefully. We have to maintain order and balance in the realm. And with there being so much imbalance in the realm, we got to set things right. So, ultimately, we're going to move forward. Now, I know that this video may be seen as chaotic and may be seen as all over the place and some people might not even get very much information out of it. And some of the clips may see may have my hand going up and then automatically going down. That's because your hands are weapons. 
you are using against people. So when you're talking with your hands and doing all this, don't think people cannot discern through that. And maybe some people just like to talk with their hands, but I have to tell you, if you are talking with your hands, you are okay. casting spells far and wide. <laughs> so please, stop. <laughs> I'm kidding. You don't have to stop if you don't want to. And if you know you're doing it, okay. Well, I hopefully the spells that you're casting are very nice, I hope. Uh, it wouldn't do anything to me, but I hope. Now, I did say lastly, but I'm going to say lastly again. Lastly, for those chosen who have folks or people in their lives who um, operate in the 3D aspect of this realm, and they're your loved ones at this moment, the actual people you actually do mess with and you care for, who are part of this. Love them. Care for them. Keep doing what you're doing. Because ultimately, hope is a very powerful tool and it, it helps. But this realm is going to be re-rendered. Now, the process has already begun, so if you haven't woken up yet, we're about to move into a whole new ball game. So, for the light workers, keep doing your thing. For the chosen, stay on mission. And for those who know, let's get it.